to Him Church, where we are connecting the heart of man to the heart of God, with Drs. Jerome and Tanya Taylor. Well, hello and welcome to Connecting the World to Him broadcast. I am Tanya Taylor, and it is a pleasure for you to allow us to come into your homes today. Thank you so much. I'm telling you, the word of the Lord is going to be alive, is going to be powerful, and I believe it's going to bless your life today. Get on the phone and call somebody and let them know that Connecting the World to Him broadcast is on the air. We're getting ready to go into a message that's already in progress. God bless you. We'll see you shortly. All right. Well, praise God. Let's do this. We're talking about uh, being on fire, understanding heaven and hell. We've talked about the hell piece, so we're going to jump right into the truths concerning heaven. If you had not been here, if you, if you, of course, if some of you have not been here to hear the other teachings about hell, please get the audio CD and the DVDs. They are available uh, for your learning. So let's just jump into the truths concerning heaven. I got about 20 points. I don't know how much we're going to get done, but let's just jump into point number one. How about that? Point number one about heaven. These are some things you need to understand. I don't understand, first of all, uh, before the point why people want to go to hell with S.A. 10. Lucifer. The dark one. Amen. The prince of darkness. Amen. I don't understand why people want to go to, the, to, to hell with the dragon, the old serpent. He hates the plan of God. He hates your life. He hates everything about you. Got it? He, he has assigned them demons to destroy you from birth. He's been, on the, he's been on the one that called the negative things that happened in your life. And some of you have listened to him for too long and you followed his mess for too long. Come on. You're, gonna do, you're either going to do it God's way or you're going to do the devil's way. There's no up and down, no gray area. Amen. You're either going to listen to God or listen to self. You're going to eat an ear full of faith or an ear full of fear. You're either going to ear full of what God has to say or ear full of what the devil has to say. And some of you have given S.A. Tan too much of your time and you want to blame everybody else until, instead of taking his personal responsibility. Got it? If you want to blame the pastor... You want to blame your community, you want to blame your husband, you want to blame your wife, but you, at the end of the day, you're going to stand before God by your little self. Right. And you're going to have to take responsibility, what? For yourself. Amen. And you point fingers all day long about who didn't did it. That's what Adam did. You know, the little wife you gave me, and, uh, you know, this, and, and, and he was like, Lord, this snake you, you put in this garden. You know, listen, I'm going to punish all y'all behind us. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to punish all of y'all. <laughs> right? Because everybody kept passing the buck. So we have to take personal responsibility because I don't know about you. This world is coming to an end fast. If you have not turned on the news lately, it's coming to an end real fast. And so we got to understand we cannot put all our stock in, in this world system and your family. You love your family. I love my family too. But some of you to love your family too much to the place where you won't do God's will. Amen. And then you're unfit for the kingdom. Got it? You have to love him more than anything. I mean, more than husband, wife, more than life itself. He said, you know, love me with all your heart, your soul, your mind. And some of you ain't there yet. And until you get there, you got to get there. Amen. Nothing can be more important than him. Nothing. Job, money, health, life, nothing. I mean, nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. Some of you are in love with the unknown. The unknown can't be more important than him. My gifts and abilities, they can't be more important than him. Bless God. Praise God. Amen. Nothing can be more important. He is, he is, we call it him. That's the, uh, the, uh, the utmost importance of life. He's got to be number one. Seek first the kingdom. He's got to be number one in your brain. All right. Point one. Heaven is a place that God created. Genesis 1-1 said God created what? Heaven and earth. You don't have to believe that, but it's true. He created heaven and earth. God created heaven and earth. So heaven is a place that God created. Amen. That's Genesis 1-1. Point two, can we move forward? Point two, God owns heaven and earth. He has the title deed, not the devil. So the devil ain't really running nothing. Let me go over here. There ain't nobody like that one. <laughs> you know, sometimes we give the devil too much credit. Let me share. I'm going to give you a scripture on this. Genesis 14-19 and Psalms 89 and 11. God owns heaven and earth, and he has the title deed. Yeah, I, I can't go. I'm going to go over here because y'all didn't like that one. I ain't getting no amens. I ain't getting no shaka zulus, uh, 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 shazams. Nobody said nothing. <laughs> yes. Genesis 14, 19. Let's hurry up because I got 27 minutes. Praise God. It says, and, and he blessed him and said, blessed be Abraham of the most high God, possessor of heaven and earth. Now, if you look that word up in the, uh, right there in Hebrew, 
All right. You look it up in Hebrew, that word uh, possessor me owns. He owns it. See, the word down is owned. That's why you'll never go down because he owns it all. God's children will never go down. So you might be down, but we ain't out. And some of you connect your being down to being out. So if you're down, you ain't out. You just might be, you know, in between blessing, but you're down don't mean you're out. And you'll never go down because he owns it all. Amen. And he's going to take good care of his children. In the word down is the word own. He owns it all. Uh, 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 they say a cattle on a thousand here. He owns it all. And I think we've given S.A. Tan too much permission to run this world when he's given us the keys to run it. If my people were called by my name. So we got a, we got a pride problem. We got to, you know, want to love each other, want to take care of God's kingdom, want to do things. If my people who are called by my name will what? Yeah, we got, we got a pride problem. We think we can do life without him. You think you can go to job tomorrow and drive your car without asking him for his assistance. Got it? And some of you got your lights out of a cracker, bo- a cracker, a cracker, a cracker jack box. Some of you don't know how to drive. And some of you need to understand you share the road with people. You don't own the road. You share the road. <laughs> Amen. Going all through the red lights and disregarding stop signs like you indispensable. Amen. And some of you riding dirty, you ain't got no license. I'm just talking. I'm not, not this group. I'm talking about the TV. Some of you watching this DVD, you riding dirty. Not you all. You riding clean because you got here. Amen. You drove the church legal. Amen. Ain't nobody. See what I'm saying? Ain't nobody say amen because I know you're guilty. Can we say amen? Amen. Woo, that didn't go over too good. Okay, don't worry about that. So you got Psalms, you got Genesis 14, 19, Psalms 89 and 11 speaks about the same thing. God owns heaven and earth. Heaven and earth. He owns it. Now Satan is having his little way in doing things, but I think we, we as the believers, man, we can stop that rascal. If all of us pray, seek his face like the scripture, humble ourselves, pray, seek his face, then God talks about healing the land. The land needs healing, but the people of God don't want to humble themselves and pray and seek my face. We we too much doing what we want to do instead of doing what God wants us to do. We can stop him. The devil ain't running nothing. Right. Amen. Let me, let me go to number three. Y'all don't like that. I'm going really to go on to the point number three. That's okay. So number three is this. Heaven, point three about heaven. All right. Heaven is, is an eternal home for God's people who have accepted the plan of salvation. So when those that die, that we, we say die, but those that sleep. The Bible talks about believers sleeping, but it talks about those that die without Christ, they're dead. That's why in Scripture when they was having a funeral, God said, let the dead bury the dead. Well, that person obviously didn't have the Lord in his life. Well, God at the time. Jesus was still on the earth. So, but believers sleep. Amen. That Scripture said, we, we sleep. You, you, you die in Christ, or you, if you transition over to the other side, you sleep. The Scripture doesn't refer to you as being dead. And then we learn about eternity, about the three things, about the human experience, the tripartite nature of us. The human spirit never dies. You're not going to die. You're going to transition, amen, to be in the presence of the Lord, to be with him. And some of us are going to see him, but we're not going to stay with him, amen? amen. Not you all, amen, so, uh, but, but you know, we want to stay with him, all right? But, but, a, but a human spirit cannot die. So when God created you, there was an eternal instinct he put in you because you came from him. You didn't come from nothing. You know, Big Bang Theory is too perfect. This, this is too perfect universe not that the the uh, not that the end the, the movements of the earth not necessarily the the the, uh, the earth being on action all that stuff and it tilts one degree is going to freeze. Not talking about that. I'm talking about the activity of the earth is not perfect because of S. A. Tan, Satan, Lucifer, all his craziness he's doing. And some of us listening to him, and even some of us possessed by him. Come on, all this stuff. So we can't we can't let him just do stuff to us and run the earth because he want to work his works his agenda through man. God want to work his agenda through mankind as well. Okay. But at the same time, we have to understand this. When the believer dies, our eternal home is heaven. Amen. That's why you can't put, you got to, you got to, we have to find out what he's called us to do on the earth. Get busy doing it. Do it to the best of our ability. Not get caught up even on your age. Jesus died at 33. I know sometimes we feel like, oh, my God, they died too young. Well, well everybody got different assignments. Amen. Martin Luther King died at a young age. I'm just saying. So. We all have a different side. You can get caught up. Sometimes we get caught up into the natural, forgetting that there's another side of like called eternity. Amen. And that person, if you can see them, they're probably doing way better than much of us, many of us down here. Yes. So some of us get caught up when we lose love. And that's okay. You get to grieve. The Bible said we grieve in hope. But we got to understand if we believe the scripture, then we know that they're, they are with the Lord amen. in their eternal home. Amen. Call heaven. Can you shout amen? amen? Now write this down. 2 Corinthians 5, 1 through 9. 
I'm going to give you these, these are long scriptures, but I'm going to give them to you. Research them. 2 Corinthians 5, 1 through 9. Philippians 3, 20. Write these down. Go study them. And it talks about the, when the believer dies, this is with the transition to heaven. All right. 1 Peter 2, verse 11. And Hebrews 3, 1. 2 Corinthians 5, 1 through 9. Philippians 3, 20. 1 Peter 2, 11. And Hebrews 3, 1. Write that down. Go study. It talks about. Again, heaven is is an eternal home for God. Are you tired of being tired? Feeling drained of life? My friends, you don't have to feel this way. You can receive your spiritual booster shot today with the 365 Daily Inspirational Quotes written by Dr. Jerome A. Taylor. Boost each day with powerful inspiration. The 365 Daily Inspirational Quotes offers uplifting thoughts for your mind and truth for your heart with an original quote and a scripture reference 365 days a year. This daily devotional is guaranteed to fill your mind with positive thoughts to lift your spirit, affirm your faith, and keep your life moving toward your destiny. 365 Daily Inspirational Quotes, written by Dr. Jerome A. Taylor. Get your copy today. Available on paperback, Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, Ingram Book Company, Baker & Taylor, Albrecht, Abooks.com, Half.com, Powell's Books, Books a Million, C-I-P-A, I-B-P-A, Span. Also available on all digital downloads, ebook and iBook, Kindle, and so much more. The 365 Daily Inspirational Quotes. Get your copy today. First is here, the groundbreaking debut album from Tanya Aiken Taylor. Available now on digital download from Amazon, iTunes, Google Play, and more. Check your local stores. Tanya Aiken Taylor. Reach out and touch her at www.tanyataylor.com. That's www.tanyataylor.com. First, the debut album from Tanya Aiken Taylor. Get your copy today. You are welcome to attend any and all of our services. Sunday morning fast food services, 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Sunday morning, 11 a.m. worship experience. Tuesday night Bible experience, 7.30 p.m. Thursday corporate prayer, 7 to 8 p.m. We would love to see you here. Sunday, November 19th, 2017, Thanksgiving dinner at the heart. Celebrate Thanksgiving early on Family and Friends Day. Sunday, November 19th, right here at the heart. The Hymn Church is here for you. Every third Sunday, celebrate with us as we celebrate Family and Friends Day at the Heart. Start the day off right with our fast food service, 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Or join us for our morning worship experience, 11 a.m. Two services to choose from, both offering the power of the word and the love of Jesus in a mighty way. Every third Sunday, Family and Friends Day at the Heart. Him Church, 104 Berman Street, Monk's Corner, South Carolina, 29461, www.hymncity.org. Family and Friends Day at the Heart. Celebrate with us and enjoy a free meal. Free meal giveaways on every third Sunday. This is your invite. Join us for our Family and Friends Day at the Heart every third Sunday. The Him Church is here for you as we are connecting the heart of man to the heart of God. We've accepted the plan of salvation. The first Adam messed it up. The second Adam came to make it right. Amen. The only way you can get to heaven is through Jesus Christ. There's no other door. You can't, Buddha can't do it, Harry Krishna can't do it, the Moonies can't do it, come on. All other stuff, all the other religions out there, we ain't, you know, we, they can't do it. You got to come through the door. He, I am the way, I'm not a way, I am the way, the truth and the life. You don't have to believe that, but see, don't close your eyes not believing that. <clears throat> but what if all this stuff is a hoax? What if it ain't? I'd rather, I'd rather trust that it's, that, that it is, that it's not. Then it closed my eyes, believing that you understand what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say? Or you understand. You put it all together. This don't doubt out the man. That's all I'm saying. AKA don't doubt out the man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, you know, tell people don't doubt out the man. Amen. Praise the Lord. You gotta get ghettoism because they're trying to be cute with it. You know what I'm saying? Don't doubt out the man. <laughs> Having a personal relationship with him. Amen. All right, number number four. Let's do this. Ooh, this is good. Number four, there will be there will be no marriages or given in marriage in heaven. Mark twenty two thirty. There will be no marriages. I mean, if you don't get it done down here, it's done. You're done. All your, all your fantasies down here, if you don't do it, live it out with your, your spouse down here, it ain't going to happen in heaven. 
because God don't want y'all bringing that mess to heaven. <laughs> you and your wife can't get along in the mansion. Y'all, y'all wilding out, punching holes in, in punching holes in, 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 in sheetrock in heaven. And, you know, God ain't having that mess in heaven. You know what? We ain't going to do no marriage in heaven. But y'all can't get along on earth. Y'all arguing and everybody next door, you got to hear your message. And all the buffoonery, you and your spouse wilding out in the streets of gold. Y'all out there shouting and arguing. You know, no, we, ain't, we ain't going through that in heaven. <laughs> no. God said, you know what? Let's not even have no marriage in heaven. <laughs> some of y'all will turn it out, even in heaven. Some of y'all will turn up, even in heaven. Y'all know how y'all work. Y'all on the streets to go. We Everybody are trying to be, go to the worship service. Y'all on the streets to go. Somebody ain't, ain't going down like that. <laughs> your mama, no, your mammy, your mama. You know how we do stuff, call these other mama stuff, you know, fighting words. You know stuff like that. So God said, nah, let's not have no marriage in heaven. Let's do away with that part. I'm going to read that one. Y'all don't believe that's in the scriptures. Don't you? Let me read that one for you for you here, and that's a short one. Yeah, I'm going to read that one real quick. I'm going to get married in heaven. No, you're not. Mm, Mark, no, Matthew. See that? Yeah, I'm, see that? I'm glad I said it again. Matthew 22, 30. It says, For in the resurrection there neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are the angels are of God in heaven. So, but, but are as the angels of God in heaven. So basically... Uh, Jesus was telling them, you know, it's in red. You got a good Bible, it should be in red. Uh, that's Jesus, right? So anyway, uh, you know, if you got a good, good, good Bible, you know, when you got a Bible, you got a borrow Bible, you know, Gideon Bible, it might not be in red. But it's okay, as long as you got a Bible. It should be in red. But Jesus spoke that just to give us some clarity that there's not going to be no marriage in heaven. Amen. All right? There's not going to be any marriage in heaven. So I'm, I'm personally on a mission. Love my wife. Have fun with my union down here. Uh, now, this, I'm going to throw something at you. Are we going to know each other in heaven? Are we going to know our spouses? No, I'm just throwing it out. You don't have to answer that, you know. I'm just throwing it out because, you know, this, this is something to throw out. And are you going to have the memory of your spouse? This is, this is something to think about because, again, you got to think about, you can't be able to take your mansion. My boy, I wish that girl would just come over to this mansion, big boy. <laughs> hey, 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 why don't you come over to the mansion tonight? That ain't happening. <laughs> you slipping a note in heaven, yeah, come over to the mansion tonight. I ain't got nothing doing on we just going to worship experience. After the worship, no, that ain't happening. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> yeah, girl, let's stop by the mansion. You know how we used to do it on earth? We're going to turn up a little bit. Now, no, that ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> so, so, so enjoy your earthly experience here. Amen. Get all you can. Can't all you get. Sit on the list. Spoil the rest. Whatever. Get all you can down here. Amen. Get all your, you know, your husband and wife duties done down here. I'm just saying. So, so, so that's just a thought to you because, again, if you can trigger the memory of your wife, will you trigger the memory of what you did? This is a thought at you now. Are you going to maybe trigger the memory, the memory of your brother and sister who hurt you in the body of Christ? Or, or, or is he going to kind of erase the memory that we'll know we were here and have some memory, but are we going to have all that recollection in our minds? When we take on our new bodies, you know, we get, you know, we get, you know, about the celestial bodies. And the uh, t terrestrial body. So we get, you know, we're going to get new bodies in heaven, which is going to be good. So all this stuff, pain and agony we're going through. Can you imagine with no pain, you're going to be as young as you were, probably 17, 18 year old, just looking as good as you want to look, you know, when you're prime of your life and you look good. And, um, you know, when you're young and, you know, because you get old, stuff started falling apart, getting loose, getting gray. Come on, praise God. Is what, what are you? And you're still trying to hold on to them 13 and 15 and 18 years old. And you got to let it go, boo, that you get old. And it's okay. You ain't, you ain't popping like you used to pop. You still cute, but you ain't, you know, them young girls, y'all be getting people jealous of the young people 18. You still trying to put on the mini like the 18. You, you better let it go. You know what I mean? Let it go. Let it go. You ain't, you ain't 18. Of, you ain't, you, you fit. You sick. You know what I'm saying? And we, and, oh, okay, praise God. Amen. Let it go. You still cute, but enjoy the grace of, of growing older instead of trying to be, and there's a great, I'm, I'm excited about turning 49 and turning 50. I'm excited. I ain't trying to be 10, 12, 10, 20, 22. Them dumb days. Them real dumb days. Real dumb chapters. Come on. I mean, I ain't trying to be young no more. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm not, you know, not 175 pounds no more. You know what I mean? It's okay. I've had a piece of chicken or two. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you know, let it go. You know what I mean? Trying to still work out and keep it all together. 
Amen. Can we say amen? amen. Let's, keep, let's keep moving. Number five, we're doing all right. Number five, there will be a banquet for us in heaven. Yeah, there's going to be a banquet. So that brings me up the question for you. We're going to talk about, is there food in heaven? What kind of food is in heaven? Selah. So what are we going to be eating at the banquet? Are we going to be eating manna? Or are we going to be eating fruit, meat, veggies? Or will there be fish, cow, pig, sheep, goat? What will be there at this banquet? Now, I personally believe, let's, go to, let's do this, Revelation 19, 19 and 9. So there will be a banquet. There's going to be a banquet. Revelations 19 and 9. 19 and 9. Revelation 19 and 9. All right, it says, and he, said unto, and he said unto me, right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, these are the true saints of God. So there's another scripture talking about this banquet, but there's, this scripture talks about the marriage supper of the Lamb, which is a banquet. Bless you, if you're going to be blessed, <laughs> those that are called to the marriage supper, sitting at this table. What kind of table will this look like? What kind of forks will we be eating from? What kind of chairs will you be sitting in? I know you've been in some pretty nice restaurants in your life. Some pretty, you know, nice stuff. Nice, like nice. But you ain't seen nothing like what you're going to be presented with in heaven. You need, you need enough a spoon or a fork or a knife like you're going to be presented at this table. How long would this table be? Because there's a number that no man can count. How many tables is this banquet going to sit? There's a number that the Bible says no man can count. How long is this table going to be? How big would this facility be to accommodate us? Okay, let's go to number six. This just want you to think on that thing. I want you to study it. Come on, I ain't got time to dig too much into this. Six, point number six. Heaven is a place where mansions are and where he's preparing a place for you to move in. Ooh, that's real good. John 14 and 2. Yeah, John 14, 2 says, in my father's house, what? Are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare, up to prepare a place for you. Now, there's a lot of construction going on in heaven right now. All right, believe that because I'm going to show you in scripture where it says the new heaven is going to come now, a new heaven and a new earth. New means new. And you can't make new say old. So which means that the place now that's up there is not going to be the place that's coming down here. Because it's going to be new. It's going to be totally new. So it's not even a renovation going on. New means new. New means you just built it. Right? New don't mean remodel. New means new, right? I know we make our new, we make our remodel new, new. But he said there's a new heaven and a new earth. All right? So that's how we're going to be mindful too, how we handle down here. Got it? I'm just saying you got to be mindful because again, you know, you got to be mindful what we're doing out here. I think about uh, some things with ministers when God calls us to uh, geographically to posture in different places would it be a trip if you're going to be leaving if you're going to be living about in the same spot when the new heaven comes down where you're staying right now somebody said bishop I'm no but but again you got to don't don't think ghetto because again I ain't talking about your place I said location wise you have a mansion your little house gone now <laughs> you know what I mean your community gone it don't exist anymore the people that's bothering your community, I'm saying, would it be? Wow, what an amazing word today. I'm telling you, it just seems like the time just goes by so quickly. But what an amazing word. God bless you today. You know, we never want to leave the broadcast without giving you an opportunity to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Take a moment right now and say these words right after me. Say, dear God in heaven, I thank you, Lord for dying on the cross for my sins. And right now, I receive your spirit into my life. I believe that you died for me and that you rose from the dead. And right now, I declare that I am saved. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Listen, if you pray that prayer today, we want you to give us a call at 
899-0877. We'd like to send you some more information so you can continue your walk in the Lord successfully. As we close the broadcast today, we want you to remember these words from Acts 17 and verse 28. For it's in him that we live and move and have our very being. And by the way, it's all about him. Good afternoon, Me TV family and friends, and thank you for tuning in. You asked, how can you partner with Heart to Heart International Ministries? And I have an answer. You can text HHIM to 54244 right here on the grounds of Heart to Heart International Ministries. We have done a free summer camp for three weeks where parents had an outlet. And now our basketball court where the youth will have an outlet right here on the grounds of Heart to Heart International Ministries. My business partners, you've asked, how can I partner with what the ministry is doing? Thank you so much for asking. Text HHIM to 54244. If you need more information, visit us at hymncity.org. That's hymncity.org. We appreciate your interest. We appreciate your support. And we appreciate your continued support. So join us as we move, as we are led by God. Because our vision is connecting the heart of man to the heart of God. So text HHIM 54244 right here to support and be a partner with Heart to Heart. Thank you and we love you. The Hymn Church is here for you. Every third Sunday, celebrate with us as we celebrate Family and Friends Day at the Heart. Start the day off right with our fast food service, 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Or join us for our morning worship experience, 11 a.m. Two services to choose from, both offering the power of the word and the love of Jesus in a mighty way. Every third Sunday, Family and Friends Day at the Heart, Hymn Church, 104 Berman Street, Monk's Corner, South Carolina, 29461, www.hymncity.org. Family and Friends Day at the Heart. Celebrate with us and enjoy a free meal. Free meal giveaways on every third Sunday. This is your invite. Join us for our Family and Friends Day at the Heart every third Sunday. The Hymn Church is here for you as we are connecting the heart of man to the heart of God.